my name's Mark, uh, Mark Sanders. I'm Managing Director of uh, Pips Pubs. Everything that we do is a celebration. If we feel that like any decisions uh, that we think might be an idea or other people have ideas for us, we just simply put it through this very, very simple test. Does it fit our identity? Does it fit that very simple, simple ethos of are we celebrating the joy of life through wonderful produce, working with wonderful, wonderful people in a wonderful location? And if not, then that's, we use that as a, as a filter for, for, for decisions. If uh, we then also say, well, is it commercial? And that's how we make all of our decisions. It literally is that, that simple. A lot of opinions, it takes a lot of people's opinions because people always can be quite emotional about what they think would be right. But when we take those opinions and emotions away, then what's left with is actually the reasons why we're here. My name's Becky, I'm the Operations Manager at the Colburn, so my job is pretty much to know what's going on at the Colburn most days, anything from uh, the team to serving a pint of beer to making sure the accommodation is correct, cookery schools are organised. The way that it's turned around now from when I first started the Colburn is no decision gets made without thinking is it on identity, so anything again from you know having to deal with a, a team member problem to what beers go on to how we serve our customers all the kind of changes or operational changes always come first with is it on identity and to us it means obviously sort of enjoying local produce togetherness respecting each other so yeah pretty much I would say 99% of the time the Colburn is thinking about identity Really, really interestingly, with regard to recruitment, uh, when we first opened here, uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was a challenge. Uh, but 12 months, 18 months into the business, uh, because we've stayed fast with, with our identity and continue to live consistently every day with our values, recruitment became very, very simple. The right people who shared our values and beliefs came to us. Um, so I had to filter out the people that all believed in the same things that we do. <coughs> um, and I found it really interesting that what we do what we now don't do is work with people to change their limiting beliefs, to help them to believe and connect to the things that we believe in. It enables me now to go to, 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 to really find people that share our beliefs before they meet us. So it means that we've got a team that, that, that's operating uh, really efficiently uh, before we even open the doors. Our actual plan for growth is driven by identity. It was actually driven by the first series of meetings that we had when we, we introduced. We drew a, a three-year plan. Uh, which we're one year into now and interestingly guess what we're exactly where we where we forecasted that that, that, that we would be um, so what we uh, what we aim to do and are doing because we're taking those marginal steps every day is that we want to build uh, seven businesses the Colburn and Pips Fishing inclusive over a, over the next ne next two years uh, and that's with working closely with the community uh, developing Pips Club so that Pips Club have more more places to go that will have the same value so that they know they've got that consistent uh, delivery, that same um, desire to provide an exceptional customer service at each and one of our, each one of our venues. And that enabled us really quickly, really simply, uh, to develop our own values. Things like uh, quality is the only option. Uh, we learn by doing so. We encourage people to make mistakes. We encourage people daily to make mistakes, not to repeat them, but to make them. That, that, um, that, that making mistakes to us is, is evidence of people really fitting in with our purpose of, of, of why we're here. That enables them to grow, because again a big part of our own business and our own ethos is that we want to work with the local community, developing local careers for local, local people to be part of this wonderful southwest economy. We have everyone on a, a fast track personal development programme uh, where I agree with, with the competencies, uh, the aspirations, build a 12 month plan uh, and then it's up to them. I'll give them the guideline, but that's self-development. There's a, there's a big one keyword there, self. So it's, it's actually asking the people to work with me along that timeline, and they will grow. And we've seen that already. We've seen half of the team from here now lead uh, Pips Fish, the other half leading here. So we're now recruiting, or rather people are coming to us that, that want to be a part of what happens next. Well, I'm a head chef now, but I can see still a couple of things in the future why it can, why it can come. It's, for example, I can be an executive chef, uh, I, 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 can be, I can be like, like, like Jack basically, who, who is bringing me in this business. And it's, like, it's very good to feel that I, I still can step up one more forward or something. So yeah, it's a very good feeling. I like this. <laughs> we encourage the whole team to, um, to talk to our guests and one of the mechanisms for that is to ask them to fill in some comments, a very, very simple comments about what our guests actually felt about us. Even if those guests have been twice that week or four times that month, we still need to understand, are we being consistent? Not better, not worse. 
but are we, be, are, are we delivering what we've set as an expectation, which is consistently uh, a good service. So we do use those net, uh, net promoter scores within the, um, the, the comment cards. In fact, we get more excited, and this might sound ridiculous, but we get more excited about the bad comments or the perceived bad comments, because they're not bad comments. They're just something that can help you to grow your business that little bit more. So yeah, it, it, it's, it's a tool that we wouldn't want to live without, yeah. The amount of people that have told us that it's, uh, they're coming uh, back again and again to see us is because they believe that we share the same values that they do, which builds that loyalty, which builds that trust, and we'll, we'll never stop doing that. That would, that's how we grow our business. We grow our business together with the community.